Okay, so there's a saying that I first heard the famous CrossFitter Matt Fraser say, and it goes like this. I'm gonna do today what other people aren't willing to so that I can do tomorrow what other people can't. I'm a big believer in making your own luck, but this wasn't always the case. I remember it was only a couple years ago that I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, felt quite aimless and overwhelmed with what the future would hold for me. I was struggling with the courses during my master's degree and was getting rejections from most companies I applied to left, right, and center. I felt the immense pressure of the need to land a job after spending so many years of my life and my parents' resources on my education. One night, when I was feeling really low, I phoned my parents for some support and comfort, and to my surprise, they provided neither. It was the only time I can remember in my life when my dad gave me a harsh reality check. And in hindsight, this blunt reality check is just what I needed. There are probably a couple life-changing moments in your life, and for me, that phone call was one of them. I woke up the next day like a man on a mission and followed the five steps I'm gonna share with you to get to where I am today. Step one, stop comparing yourself to others. Stop thinking that life is not fair. We all know it isn't, but what can you do to even the odds? There will always be people in much better situations and people in much worse situations. You know that feeling when you endlessly scroll through social media and watch the highlights of other people's lives? If you're happy, you'll be truly happy for them. But if you're not feeling the best, you're probably gonna end up feeling even worse. I grew up as one of the very few Asian kids on the block in Hungary, a small country in Eastern Europe back in the early 2000s. And let me tell you, I used to compare myself to others all the times. I struggled to find my identity. I wish I could be just like everyone else. I tried so hard to fit in, to become one of the many, that I lost sight of who I was and what I wanted from life. Now that I think back, this kind of thinking seems completely foolish. I should have focused on myself, embraced the fact that I get to speak two languages, Hungarian. Szia, mi újság? Ha Magyarországról nézel, azt szerintem nagyon király, és remélem, hogy tetszik a videó. And Chinese. Hey, tatja ha, ojja csak ma. Fluently, by default, get to enjoy a mix of European and Asian cultures and cuisines on a daily basis. And thankfully, this is exactly how I think now. It took me a while, but I got there in the end. Being different was hard, but it made me into the person I am today. It was completely normal and accepted to me from a young age that I had to do at least twice as good as anybody else around me at anything to get the same kind of recognition. And this work ethic stuck with me for life. So the next time you see people with lots of certifications, bachelors or master's degrees, PhDs and highly paid jobs, do not compare yourself against them. Instead, think about what you need to do to get your dream job to succeed, to live your dream life. You could start now and master new skills by taking Coursera's Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate, for example. You don't need any previous experience to start this program. It is 100% online and you can take it at your own pace. You'll learn key analytical skills from data cleaning to data analysis and visualization, and how to use platforms and tools like spreadsheets, SQL, Tableau, and R programming. You'd get to acquire in-demand data analyst skills and earn yourself an employer-recognized Google certificate in less than six months if you invest 10 hours per week. To me, the best part about the certificate is definitely the hands-on projects and the case study at the end that you can share with potential employers to showcase your new skills. Once you've completed the certification, you can add it to your CV and LinkedIn. If you're interested, sign up to start a free seven-day trial of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate using the link in the description below. And many thanks to Coursera for sponsoring this video. Moving on to step two focus on all the things you do have. I was fortunate enough to attend a private high school in 11th and 12th grade, which then gave me the opportunity to study abroad, end up in the UK, become a Hungarian British dual citizen, and most important of all, meet my wife. But guess what? I didn't exactly consider myself lucky for being able to attend such a great school back then. My parents saved for years to be able to afford this kind of education, whereas for most students around me, attending such a school was Nothing special, just a baseline, if even. What took my parents years of hard work to earn was maybe even just pocket money for others. 
I was thinking to myself, why is it that I am smarter than others and work harder than others, yet I still have everything to worry about, whilst seemingly they have nothing to be anxious over. Now that I'm close to 30 and acquired some life experience and wisdom, some would say, I see that my thinking was so small, entitled, and frankly, severely flawed. I completely ignored the fact that my parents moved from China to Hungary, a country they knew very little about, a place where they didn't speak the language in search of a better future for our family. They succeeded despite all the hurdles, despite starting at a disadvantage, worked their way through all the hostility and bullying, all to pay for what they believed would truly elevate the lives of my siblings and I the best possible education. Looking back, how lucky was I that my parents chose to fund my education instead of spending the money on expensive holidays, nicer cars, a bigger house, things they could have instantly enjoyed the benefits of. The moment I stopped thinking about what I don't have and why life is so unfair and started focusing on all the things I do have, my whole mindset changed. So I want you to have a long hard think about what you already do have, no matter how small or big. Say you got home just before it started soaking outside, or you had a nice dinner with your friends and family, or say you've worked hard to obtain a certificate. It's okay to sit back, give yourself a pat on the back, and appreciate what you just did and the skills you just learned. When you see someone with a ton of technical skills and industry experience, instead of comparing yourself to them, thinking I'm never gonna get there, or it'll take me ages to get there, focus on what you can do right now to get yourself closer to your goals. You could build your stunning data portfolio, for example, using the ultimate portfolio template that I launched recently. It's a one-stop shop for all of your data projects where you can publish your entire portfolio to the web with zero coding. You'd get access to the portfolio template, the manual, and the four amazing projects of mine with exclusive end-to-end -end expert write-ups, summaries, and detailed reports so you know what good looks like. Make sure to check out the links in the description. Moving on, step three, find a meaningful purpose. Getting up every single day for a greater cause other than you trying to get rich and have a nice car proved to be single-handedly the best motivation for me. To care for the ones who once cared for you is one of the most fulfilling and beautiful things you can do in life. So I wanted to succeed, achieve my goals and dreams whilst relatively young so that my parents can still enjoy the fruits of my labor. This kind of thinking gave me a clear purpose which propelled me on a daily basis in everything I did. Now that I'm married, I of course take into consideration my wife, our very own good boy Rocket, and our future children and family as well. I'm not saying I don't think about what I want. What I'm saying is that by providing for and helping my loved ones gives me an amount of satisfaction, joy, and fulfillment that I'm not sure I'd be able to get from just chasing purely what I desire. So don't be selfish and find motivation that goes beyond you trying to get a quick win so that you can buy something really nice you want. Find a cause that gives you a purpose. A purpose so clear that no matter what happens, you'll be there ready to go commit and see whatever it is you have in your mind all the way through to the end. If you're struggling with a course, a degree, or something at work, think about why you're actually doing all of this. Think about what motivates you and find a meaningful purpose. Okay, so now that you stopped comparing yourself to others, are focusing on all the things you do already have and have a clear purpose, it's time to invest in yourself. I truly believe you are your own greatest asset. And the earlier you invest in yourself, the exponentially more benefits you'll gain. And when I say invest, I'm not just thinking about courses, degrees, and certificates. I'm thinking about your general well-being, your mental health, your physical condition, everything that makes you who you are. I, for example, make sure that I spend the time and effort to upskill my data skills to continuously learn and develop professionally. I also make sure that I get my daily steps in, train at least four times a week, eat tasty and nutritious foods, spend enough time with the people that I love so that I can live the simple, happy, and wholesome life I've always wanted to. I'm sure you've heard of the saying, a sound mind and a sound body. Moving and exercising trigger the release of dopamine and serotonin, which then in turn can, and from my experience, will for sure improve your mood. Serotonin is associated with happiness, focus, and calmness, whilst dopamine is associated with rewards and motivation. A lot of people ask me how I can stay so disciplined with my training routine and how I'm able to consistently push myself so hard that it hurts.
because it always makes me feel better. Also, now that I'm making pretty good money, I think of purchases differently. I used to want the newest phones, fresher sneakers, nicest cars, whereas now I value purchasing skills and experiences and memories a lot more rather than objects. The excitement you get from buying a new phone or even a car will fade pretty quickly over time, but no one can take away the skills you learned from a certificate or a degree, the unforgettable memories you made while solo backpacking Thailand or visiting and hanging out with your friends in California for weeks. So I want you to think about the ways you can invest in your own professional development and what's probably even more important, your own general well-being and happiness. And last, but definitely not least, develop a finisher mindset. I've learned through life that it's not necessarily the smartest people who will succeed. It's usually the most committed ones. Talent is great to have, but talent alone can only get you that far. Behind every success story, there will be countless hours of trying and failing and trying again. What you see on the outside, the success, the money, the highly paid jobs, and the nice life, they're all just the end results of consistent hard work. If you start something, make sure you finish it. Finishing one thing will lead to finishing another thing, and then another thing. And quickly, you've built yourself a domino effect where you get stuff done and become a go-getter. And let me just use why I love training so much as an example again. It's just me, some weights, and that's it. I know that I have four sets of 10 reps of deadlifts in me. I also know the last couple of reps will hurt, but I know that I have it in me. I know that if I can lift these weights now, I can also figure out why my code isn't working, how I can improve my presentation to get stakeholder buy-ins. I know that if I quit this now, I'll quit the next thing as well. But if I just push through this, I'll solve the next problem as well, and the one after that. Quitting and taking the easy way might provide relief in the short run, but choosing the hard path and pushing through your own limits and barriers consistently is what will take you from where you are right now to the life you wanna live. I urge you to start now, start today. Continue where you left off today. Have a course or certificate that you've been putting off for a while or some projects you've been wanting to do? Why not start now? Set one challenging goal and do not leave your room until you've completed it. Disappear. Tell your friends and family that you'll be unavailable for a week. Make your own luck. Do today what other people aren't willing to so that you can do tomorrow what other people can't. And if you do want to start now, start today, and you need some guidance and help with how to achieve your goals and aspirations, then there is a link in the description below where you can book one-to-one -one sessions with me. We'll work together to come up with a personalized plan that can take you from where you are right now to where you want to be. We'll focus on finding solutions tailored to your individual wants and needs. And that's it. I went from being overwhelmed and aimless to becoming a go-getter, someone who finishes what he starts, someone who makes his own luck by living and breathing the five points covered in this video. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to check out some of my other videos right here. Thanks so much for being here, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.